Hi, I'm Caitlin, a nursing student at UW-Milwaukee, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of the Nursing Learning Resource Center in Cunningham Hall. The NLRC is a site for teaching and learning using a variety of strategies, settings, and equipment with simulation as one of the major tools. Simulation provides a learning environment for students to experience an aspect of patient care without fear or harm to the patient through the use of models, mannequins, medical equipment, and patient actors. Some simulators are even run with computer software, allowing scenarios to be more authentic to what students experience during clinical and in the workforce. This is one of our many simulation labs and is an example of high fidelity patient simulation, a type of simulation that uses computerized mannequins to mimic real life scenarios. Things the patient can do when the scenario is running includes breathing, blinking, pupil dilation and contraction, sweating, runny nose, drooling, and more. The computer monitors display the patient's full range of vital signs, including heart rate and rhythm, blood pressure and respiration, among others. Students usually practice in pairs while a nursing instructor sits in the control room behind the glass. The instructor manipulates the vital signs that are displayed on the monitor and speaks as the patient. While the student participates, there are cameras recording the simulation and classmates and another instructor watch a simulation live. This allows the students to review the simulation with the instructor after the scenario finishes. This is known as the debriefing and is vital to the student's learning process. The Media Resource Center is where students check out study guides, medical supplies, and lab coats. Also located here are the offices of the center's instructors and where students store the supplies they use to practice their skills. In the back is the debriefing area where simulation debriefing occurs. In this lab area, students practice a variety of skills, often the basics of patient safety, such as transferring a patient from a bed to a walker, using the bedside mechanical lifts, or helping a patient use a commode. This is our simulated apartment. Here, students work with a live actor who portrays an older adult recovering from a fall. We assess the environment for safety hazards and perform assessments and do teaching with the patient. These learning spaces contain a variety of mannequins, beds, and equipment for learning and practice. Students acquire skills in wound care, blood draws, oxygen therapy, tracheostomy care, along with catheter, IV, and medication administration. Students spend a lot of time in the lab during their junior year. Spaces in these labs are very important to allow nursing students to work independently as well as in pairs to treat patients and practice skills. The instructors need enough space to evaluate students and conduct skills checkoffs in which students have the chance to demonstrate competency. This area is the labor and delivery room, which contains our mom, who is an excellent example of high fidelity simulation. Lucina, the newer model, can recreate many types of labor and delivery scenarios, such as breech birth and preeclampsia that present risk to both the mother and child. Students progress through scenario-based learning with cameras rolling in a debriefing session afterwards. Not all students are in clinical sites that allow the opportunity to witness labor and birth, so the college relies on simulation and this advanced high-fidelity simulator to provide that experience for all students. Simulation at the UWM College of Nursing provides a great addition to the real-world clinical environments our students encounter in our professional nursing major. The NLRC provides a controlled environment where students can learn from mistakes, repeat specific processes, and take advantage of scenario experiences.